This week, I work on implementing a basic bullet in Godot. I create a bullet as Node3D and define its direction and speed in the attached script to keep track of the bullet previous position in world space. I add a variable called prepose. In the ready function, I initialize the bullet direction, prepose, and connect the timer signal to our destroy function. In the physics process functions, I create a vector pointing towards the negative z direction at a specific speed and assign it to new posts. I then update the bullet position in world space to new posts and set new posts to prepose to prepare for the next frame. Finally, to add gameplay, I create a mesh instance 3D as visual represent of bullet. Now, once the bullet is spawned at a muzzle, it should now fly away in the specific direction and speed. To detect if a bullet hits a collision body, I use the intercept ray function to case a ray along the bullet's trajectory. Using physics ray query parameters 3D, I collect data for the object the bullet hits and perform design operation. For the ray to detect object, we need to assign collision body to assets. I use group to define object type, such as wood, metal, or ceramic, and whether they are penetrable or not. For instance, we can define the wood door by generating a collision body and assigning the penetrable and wood groove to it. We can also define a fence with three pieces, a penetrable metal planes, a several wood planks, and a concrete wall. To detect the type of object a bullet impact, I create a function called detect surface. This function uses a series of if statements to determine the object type and whether it's penetrable. It also spawns particles and sounds that correspond to the object type. Let's talk about sound and particle effects. Sounds is defined as audit streams and particles are defined as packings. We can say the sound as an audio randomizer, a trace file, which allows us create a lot of different variations of sound effects. As for particles, I create a node 3D and add a bunch of child particle nodes to create visual effects. And once we have said everything, we can easily load them up as exposed values. For bullet holes, we create a node 3D with a decode channel. The decode phone face is facing the negative z direction. When it comes to ricochet, I use a built-in function called bounce. And I set up an error CD to trigger the flyback effect. <laughs> to simulate a target being hit, I attach a script to the target root nodes and define a function called damage to take action. I also create an explore variable called custom sound to use when the existing sound set cannot satisfy the need. In the damage function, I use the apply in plus function with a random force to make the helmet jump and rotate. <laughs> 